The Acer Chromebook Spin 513 Enterprise Edition. Is it any good? We're gonna find out today. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hardware Sense channel. My name is Ivan and today we're gonna look at the Acer Chromebook Spin 513, the Enterprise Edition. And what makes it an Enterprise Edition? That's the inclusion of the LT modem on board provided by Qualcomm. So you are connected all the time. If you're on the road working, visiting job sites or doing any kind of uh, other work that requires you to be on the road, traveling outside of you, home or away from Wi-Fi, you're gonna be able to use this one with pretty much any SIM card you have. Any GSM provider, even Verizon, you can pop in your SIM card and use it on the road with the LT modem built in. What we have on board is 13 inch IPS screen, very nice and crisp, 1080p, slim and lightweight body, eight gigabytes of low powered DDR4 RAM on board, 128 gigabytes of internal storage. We have backlit keyboard, we have metal, top of the screen we have narrow bezels long battery life acer are claiming 14 hours but in reality we're looking at 10 11 hours still that's a long day of work that you can use without using a charger we have usb-c ports on board on both sides and we have full-size usb port which is 3.2 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and that sim slot does the price tag of 699 justifying all those things we're gonna find out today but before that you guys know that i already have a chromebook and that's that lenovo one the super budget one the idea pad flex 3 all plastic body 200 dollars four gigabytes of ram only uh, lower resolution screen but i find myself using this one predominantly around my house uh, among all the other laptops i have because of that long long battery life and if the battery life is as long as in this one for the Acer, I'm definitely going to be switching and using this one predominantly because of all the other added features like backlit keyboard and higher screen resolution. Of course, it's lighter and more compact. Now, as always, we're going to go through the unboxing. We're going to do a quick overview, some tests, and at the end, we're going to talk about it in the conclusion. The Acer Enterprise uh, Chromebook Spin comes in this rather plain box with uh, not a lot of uh, th thrills around it uh, but you know considering it's an enterprise level uh, Chromebook I was not expecting anything fancy without further ado let's go ahead and just open it and see what's inside the box so well packaged in this recycled paper or recycled cardboard uh, material okay on to the side we have the power cable regular Mickey Mouse style uh, power cable nothing really amazing here and in the other bag we have the tiny charger with the usb-c and this one is rated at 45 watts but again anything 45 and above watts that has usb-c you can use for charging and then in the main compartment is the chromebook put it to the side just for a second to see what's on the bottom so we have a setup guide which will be self-explanatory for most of you and some more fcc re regulatory information and then finally here is the warranty information so that's pretty much it the protective cover is very nice and soft recycled material so here it is immediately reminds me of my tech class t5 because it's all metal cover similar style hinges here in the back and then we have a metallic bottom lid with the speakers we have four rubber legs two on the front two in the back and if we look at all the right side we have the usb-c port we have the power and volume rockers and on the opposite side which is the left we have another usb-c we have full size USB which is 3.2 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and we have the sim slot and another thing about these USB-C ports I want to test and see if any of those will actually output video or they're just going to be data and charging hopefully we can output video as well uh, but yeah the design is much much uh, better than uh, what I was expecting and actually is much better than my previous Chromebook you guys know the idea pad flex 3 this is a budget Chromebook, all plastic, uh, $200 unit, but it has full-size uh, HDMI. As you guys seen before, full-size SD card, where we don't have full-size HDMI or SD card here whatsoever. And this one is much thinner, slimmer, and lighter because of all the metal construction. 
has more memory as mentioned we have eight gigabytes of lower power ddr4 ram instead of the four gigabytes that we had on the Lenovo recycled fabric on top of the keyboard and you'll see the keyboard is backlit which again is a big big plus for this specific model compared to my uh, Lenovo one because I'm using the Lenovo in bed late at night uh, typing some articles and stuff like that doing some work and uh, when you don't have a backlight it's a bit annoying but having a backlight here definitely will help with that problem keyboard looks very nice and comfortable I definitely like what I'm seeing. The keyboard on the Lenovo is good, but this one seems a little bit better. Um, and again, the backlight uh, will help a lot at night. On the screen, we have Gorilla Glass 6 cover. And of course, this one is 1080p IPS screen compared to the 1366 by 768 on the other one. But having double the memory, double the internal storage, because here is 128 gigabytes internal storage and we have Guerrero glass on the touchpad as well making it very smooth uh, and very premium so I absolutely love this uh, touch and it will, if I get closer you'll see some of the uh, labels here it says narrow thin bezels on the screen which is yes absolutely high screen to body ratio I think it's 78 percent on their website lightweight I think it's 1.2 kilos or 2.3 uh, pounds something like that long battery life Again, they're referencing about 14 hours. In my experience, probably it's going to be around 10, 11 hours, but that gives you a full day of work. And of course, we have Corning Grill Glass, touchpad and touchscreen. A great thing to see. We have these rubber uh, kind of isolators or stoppers when the screen collapses to not touch uh, the actual surface of it. Uh, excellent again to see though. A lot, of, a lot of attention to detail from Acer on this enterprise model. Um, and of course, you would expect that for a model that costs, um, you know, $700. That's uh, three times more than the Lenovo Chromebook uh, I showed you before. So once you're logged in, uh, you're presented with this absolutely beautiful screen. And unfortunately, it's reflective, but that's to be expected with the Gorilla Glass uh, on top of it. And, uh, you know, one of the one of the marketing things um, that a lot of these companies, not only for Chromebooks, but uh, laptops are using is so obviously the screen can go all the way around and turn into this tablet style computer uh, or lay completely flat. I'm not a huge fan of this. I'd rather use my laptops or Chromebooks as laptops with the screen open. I'm not using the touch and all that stuff. That's just me. I'm not a huge fan of uh, touching laptop screens. Tablets and phones are different. So laptops, I just predominantly use the trackpad and the keyboard as a normal laptop I would do. And uh, let's see if there's any updates. So the, the screen looks very bright, very crisp, much faster, much snappier, multitasking and everything else. Definitely the eight gigabytes of RAM helps a lot. Uh, with that kind of work and having more storage 128 gigabytes of internal storage will definitely give you more room uh, to put more documents that you might be wanting to store uh, while working the wireless coverage is great we have 2.4 and 5g wireless support uh, but again the biggest thing here is the lt modem and i'm gonna go ahead and install my sim card here and see how the coverage is because i'm the most curious about this specific feature and of course as uh, any chromebook you can go to the google play store and install any app from there uh, basically using the capability of android just like on any phone or tablet you'll be able to install any of the apps and just run with them and checking out there's an update right now so i'm gonna uh, put the update on and then install the sim card and see how the coverage is going to be with that LTE modem on board from the Qualcomm 7C platform. So after I installed my Verizon uh, SIM card, um, I disabled the Wi-Fi and only let the card do his thing. So we have a new indicator right here in the bottom uh, right corner, the LTE one that says connected and gives us additional menu here for the SIM cards. And I'll go through it real quick. You'll see the operator Verizon. So Verizon is supported, not only the GSM providers uh, like T-Mobile and AT&T in the US, you can uh, log the sim uh lt technology all this information is given to you given to you right here mobile data network uh, access point 4g lt connect and gives you the ip address and all that stuff so that's excellent uh, if you go back one time you'll see here you can have mobile data on and off and there's an option for eSIM. so that's interesting uh, not only you have the physical sim card 
but electronic SIM card as well with a new profile. So if you have an eSIM uh, through one of your or some uh, providers around the world, you'll be able to uh, activate that as well. But currently my Verizon SIM card is uh, supported with no problem. So yeah, that's, that's a great, great option considering if you're doing work and you're on the road somewhere when you don't have access to Wi-Fi, but there's uh, wireless coverage from the network providers, you can uh, get LTE speeds and continue to do your work. That is actually the best selling point for this specific uh, Chromebook and I absolutely love it. So let's see what's the latest, the latest version of uh, the software, 9404606. 104 so yeah great to see and uh, another option is uh, if you are on wi-fi but for some reason the wi-fi gets disconnected right away or you walk outside with the laptop and there's no more coverage the chromebook will automatically switch to the lte or the sim card inside and that way you're going to be able to continue your work or browsing or media consumption or whatever you're uh, you are doing currently so yeah that's a great thing to see right there so yeah that's pretty much it with the unboxing and initial impressions uh obviously i want to test a few other things just a quick last note before we move on to the conclusion right on top where it belongs we have a 720p webcam uh in case you want to do some zoom calls or some skype uh it's there the quality is nothing really to write home about but it's there at least uh, on the proper spot so on the pinch you'll be able to use that and jump on some uh, conference calls uh for that price actually i was expecting to be a little bit better maybe 1080p uh, slightly better quality uh, but yeah it is what it is let's move on to the conclusion all right conclusion time so what do i think about this acer chromebook enterprise edition of 513 model i really really like it uh, now there's definitely some negatives i'm gonna mention and some of these i'm gonna go out of the way first and mention them um, obviously the number one is the price 699 i think it's a bit steep yes it provides a great functionality it has a built-in lte modem that you can pop a sim card and just take it on the road but at the same time 699 we're going to a level where you can get a very respectable laptop even some gaming laptops and kind of tether off your phone wi-fi and use it on the road if you want to do any of that stuff or game um, so 699 i think it's a bit pushing it uh, maybe if they were uh, stuck with the price around 499 it will be much easier to uh, recommend this one but that's what they decided some of the other things uh, i think missed here i know i understand it's a very compact and little body uh, but i would have loved to see a full size hdmi port on it and uh, maybe a sd card or a micro sd card slot that would have been the two things that i'm looking for uh, actually the two things that i really like about this one because it has them but other than that all the other things are positive uh, happy to report that both uh, usb-c ports on the side are outputting uh, video not only data but video as well just be careful what kind of adapters you're using because uh, this one you know just uh, USB-C to HDMI is working fine, but this one where it's combo with USB ports and stuff like that, this one uh, was not working. So uh, I don't know, this one was working perfectly well, actually kind of matches the, the Acer color. So <laughs> I'll be putting this in my uh, backpack just in case if I want to output on a bigger screen. Uh, no problem, actually, uh, I was able to output to one of my gaming monitors uh, and achieved 120 Hertz on that. So not bad at all, uh, but yeah, great to see. Uh, lightweight compact uh, great functionality with the sim card the screen is very bright very nice resolution 1080p a 13 inch that's my preferred resolution for that size of a screen uh, and the keyboard being backlit is a great news for me personally uh, especially uh, working on darker rooms or like in the, in the bedroom late at night you don't want to disturb uh, your significant other or whoever is around you this is uh, going to do a great job for you or if you're uh, working on uh, darker offices or somewhere in the airports so there's not enough light a uh, great option to see battery life is excellent 10 11 hours browsing working on documents uh, watching videos um, happy to report that it's very similar to the one on idea uh, pad flex 3 uh, that's probably the the biggest selling point of these chromebooks battery life i mean all day work that's excellent that's why i'm ending up uh spending more time with these chromebooks 
uh, than any of my other laptops just because of that battery life for media consumption obviously is great we have a perfect bright 1080p screen netflix all the other uh, streaming services uh, will be able to you'll be able to stream with no problem the sound is okay it's nothing really to brag about uh, kind of comparable to the one in lenovo maybe slightly better slightly louder but again it's it's nothing to to really brag about inclusion of 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is great you can pop in your headphones listen to the music there was no problem through it full size usb is also great if you want to attach an external mouse and use it that way for more like a laptop experience having a corning gorilla glass cover on the screen you know obviously it's a touch screen and the trackpad is great to see again they're not going to get scratched easily and uh, if you're preferring to use that chromebook as a tablet you'll be able to use it and not worry too much not think about oh what kind of screen protector i should get to kind of protect my screen uh, because this one if you use it as a touch you're gonna see all the fingerprints and potentially you might scratch it because there's no cording green glass on it obviously that costs money so that's that's where the price is going up uh, but yeah keyboard layout for me is very good comfortable big keys comfortable to type on uh, I wish the whole body was completely metal, but it's not. We think uh, only the top lid is metal, uh, the bottom is plastic, and kind of the shell where your palm rests uh, are plastic. Hopefully over time the paint is not going to fade off or kind of rub off when you're uh, putting your palms on it uh, way too much. What can I say? I really like this Chromebook. Uh, the only gripe for me, major one at least, is the price. Uh, but I understand it's more for enterprise users companies they want to buy these in bulk and kind of give them to their employees uh, whenever especially they're if they're traveling so they can do their work uh, on the go so yeah that's pretty much it guys if you want to support this channel check out the link on the description below hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel for more videos like this one and if you're new subscribe and as always guys you have a wonderful day